Welcome or welcome back on C-square. In this uh, video clip we're going to talk about solving system of equation using elimination. And we have two system of equation, number 7 and number A. Uh, I want you to take a look on number 7 first and uh, you should notice that we have here positive 3a and negative 3a that should tells you right away if you add these two equation you will do something great you will you will eliminate that variable a let's see how that looks like 3a minus 3a or 3a plus negative 3a that will be 0a and then we have 4b plus negative 2b that is 2b and 9 plus negative 3, that will be uh, 6. So just by adding these two equations, we eliminate a, and we have a simple equation to be equal 6, and we end up with b equals 3. The next thing we need to find out is obviously the first variable, the one that we eliminate, a. Take one of the equation, plug in b in, and uh, find A. Okay, so you you see now, I just did what I mentioned before, replace uh, b with uh, 3, uh, simplify, uh, and solve a simple equation, two-step equation, a equals negative 1. Uh, remember that solution set can be also shown in a, a form of a order pair. The first one is a in this case, the first variable negative 1 in the order pair and the second one in the order pair is b okay now let's take a look to number eight uh, and probably you notice something similar however different now we have the same quantity to y in this case in the previous problem we have the opposite things on uh, uh, the, those two equations, 3a and negative 3a. Now we have the same quantity 2y. So what we can do here is called elimination by subtraction. 4x minus 6x is negative 2x. And uh, 2y, positive 2y minus positive 2y, that will be 0. And 4 minus 8 is negative 4. divide by negative 2 and we end up with x equals 2. As you see again, a very uh, nice example where um, elimination by, in this case, by subtraction works fast and we find one of the variable very fast. Of course, the same story here. In, in order to find y, we have to plug x in one of those two equations. I'm going to go with the first one. So, as you notice, again, I replace uh, x of 2, I end up with 8 plus 2y equals 4. Again, an uh, equation that can be solved in two steps. I end up with y equals negative 2. The solution set is 2 and negative 2. Uh, let me mention that uh, if you are not sure about your work, you can plug this number in and check your solution. Now is your time to try something. Uh, pause this video clip and... You know what? You, you try number 5 and 6. Okay?
There you go. If you have these two solutions, you did a wonderful job. Again, the first number five is elimination by addition, and you eliminate uh, y. And x is uh, seven. Then replace seven. I did the first equation, and we end up with five. So the solution is seven and five. And the second equation, elimination by addition, positive x, positive x. So uh, we end up very fast to y equals four. And to replace that four, I choose the second equation, and uh, that allows me to find x. X equals two. And now let's take a look to number nine and ten. In fact, I'm going to do number nine, and I would like you to, to, to try number ten. And you notice these two problems are different. If we add them, we don't eliminate anything. For example, on number nine, if we add them, we get seven a plus two b. Whoops! So nothing disappear and if we subtract them the same story nothing will be cancelled out so the story about this uh, system of equation is to use elimination by multiplication so you heard the word multiplication which basically will tell you what to do multiply by something and now let me show you an easy way to find number you multiply by so hopefully you notice I uh, put 5 for the top equation, I'm going to multiply by 5 the top equation and by 2 the bottom one. Where did, you, did, where did I get the, these numbers? If you see them, they are right here. I just switch them and then it, it pays off if you look and do a little bit of mental math. 5 times 2, right? The first uh, equation times 5. Um, in fact, the first coefficient of 8 times 5, that is positive 10. The same down on the bottom, 2 times 5, 10. We want to have one of them negative. Right? I will say the first one. So basically now I know I have to multiply the first equation by negative 5 and the second equation by 2. Don't, far, don't forget to multiply the right side. So let's see what we get now. We're going to use distributive property. Negative 5 times 2a is that negative 10a we like. Negative 5 times positive 3b minus 15b. And 12 times negative 5, negative 16. And let's go to the second equation, which we multiply by 2. 2 times 5a, it's that 10a. And now you hopefully notice that that was the goal. That was the reason we multiply by those two numbers. Minus 2b equals 26 and yes 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 again negative 10a positive 10a we're going to add this to equation the a disappear and we have negative 17b equal negative 34 Divide by negative 17 and we end up with b equals 2. And of course the same story now. We're going to find how much a is. Uh, take that b, plug it in one of these two equations. I will say, I will go with the first one since we have plus there instead of minus. But again, if you don't have any problem with minus, you can go to the second one. You see, I replace b with 2. Simplify now. And we end up with 2a equals 6. And a equals 3. So the solution set for this uh, system is 3. Go ahead, pause this video clip and try number 10.
If you end up with this solution, 28 or negative 19, uh, then you did a fantastic job. Uh, maybe you notice uh, the way I solved this number 10 was uh, elimination by multiplication, but I eliminate y now. That's the reason I multiply by negative 4 and 3. If you choose different numbers and you end up with the same solution, guess what? Yes, uh, there is not a unique method, method to solve. You can eliminate x, you can eliminate y, depends on what you want. And you can end up with the same solution. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button down right and come back on C-square for more math video clips.